everybody, this is Robin. I'm here with Nameless, and we have a ton of babies out in the backyard playing. So if they come in screaming, sorry in advance. I started this tutorial with Peacefully Me by Dazzle Draw. One or two coats? How many coats? Two. One? Wait, I think it's just no, one. No, just one today. Yeah, it's just one right now. So anyways, so I'm going to take the bottom with black and then just kind of run it over the top like this. I'm, I'm going to, this is just a structure. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to put foil over the top of this and I don't want it to wear off. So um, there's, a, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. But because we're using all natural like polish, then it's it's like you have to make sure that the ends are capped. So there we go. See, some baby just fell. <laughs> I don't think that they'll be able to hear because of the camera, but <laughs> we can. <laughs> baby down. So yeah, they're so, so cute though. So normal around here. So yeah. normal. Okay, <laughs> so there's that. I'm gonna finish up and I'll meet you back. Okay, so the next step is going to be putting a um, coat of, uh, of, what is this, foil glue. Okay, so I have the foil glue like this. It's white. It come, You just look for foil glue on um, eBay, nail foil glue, and it comes out white like this. And when it dries, it dries clear. And um, it dries really sticky, okay? So everywhere that the, that the, the glue dries is where the foil will stick or, or yeah. not and you yeah. can go back over and do other layers but um one is good usually like like I'm just doing a foil on the tip so um these are things I used to do in my older videos and I just haven't ha gotten any with a good camera so I'm gonna get some on here for you guys baby alert hi, hi baby Snatched up. Yep, she wants to sit in the big girl chair. Yes, she does, and she just got her way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't learn that here for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll beat you back. All right, so now I have the foil that I want to use. Sometimes it doesn't come off all the way, and so you'd have to take off the, the layer of yellow, and how you do that is just with some um, a scrub brush or with some acetone. Here, let's move that. You just take um, a, a uh, makeup sponge so you don't have any lint, boom. Take the scrub fresh, which is like a blue liquid, or a, um, acetone, nail polish remover, uh, maybe even alcohol. But look, if you just wipe it, it takes off the yellow, and that yellow keeps it from transferring from this little thing to the nail. So see how that is? So if you're having problems with it sticking, then that's one of the things that you can do to bypass it. So anyways, everywhere the glue touched is where it will come off. And um, I try not to put too much glue because I want the black to show through. So if it wears off the ends, it's not going to look destroyed. So that's why I put the black on first. And so this is just regular polish, regular foil glue, and um, you can get it on eBay. It's all over the place. When I first started my channel, it was almost extinct and I only had a few different colors of this stuff that I kept very close in my desk. But um, now it's everywhere. So, heck yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I love them. Okay, so now when you get all of that on, how you're going to keep it great is the next part. So I'll meet you back. Okay, so while I'm adjusting this light source, the babies are gone and I have some hollow glitter mixed with some top coat right here and this is going to seal all of the places that um, might come up in the foil so I'm just making some yumminess it's only going about halfway up the brush by the way my favorite color on the planet hollow glitter oh Boom. well right on well you're gonna enjoy this <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, that's me right there. If uh, <laughs> I was a color, <laughs> you really are a hollow glitter. So, so I'm just going to like, maybe, maybe like, spin some some glitter around and touch the ends, and just kind of go around and make it look almost like granite, but also like just shiny granite. It's it's more of just like a look and not a design. And it is a technique because this won't wear off as easily 
because it has glitter that's chunky going through it. This is just regular hollow glitter. If you can find it anywhere, it'll be okay. You do that. Then, if you have like um, a no wipe gel, you can just gel over the tips very lightly, cure it for about 30 seconds, and then you your this won't be damaged at all. If you don't have gel, and you go over with the regular top coat like Dazzle Dry, it'll still it'll still last a good week or two, but the gel will seal it without cracks or peeling for two to four weeks usually. Okay, I have a tiny bit of acrylic on these nails, but not a ton, but it does keep it on longer. So hopefully that helps you guys for anybody struggling with gel. And there's a lot of secrets to gel and keeping it on natural polish that people have picked up along the way. If you know that one works, please tell me. I have a mint in my mouth. I hope I can't hear it when I edit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All of a sudden I felt that. I'm like, oh no. Okay, so there's that and I will meet you back. Okay, so here are the end results and I'm gonna play with the light and get you guys in to what I'm cooking. Okay, so I did put a, a slight, just right on the French tip down, I put a, just a sweep of the no white gel and I let it cure for 30 seconds. Then I top coated with Dazzle Dry. So I'm making like a sandwich. It is um, like regular polish, then the glue in over the black, right? But not on the ends. I didn't put any glue on the ends. Then I put the foil, then I lightly coated it with a gel. What that that step you can skip, but it will pull off faster. Then I top coated the whole thing and sealed the ends so that they'll stay on and connected. And so if this works for you, great. If it doesn't and you have another technique that works better, that is great too. These are chemicals and because of the foils and because of the glues and because of the polishes, every single person's uh, creations are differently. But if you do try them, please say inspired by Robin Moses. You can get brushes at robinmosesnailart.com. Hashtag me inspired by Robin Moses. Boom, right here. Every time you copy my work so that we can build our community and give tips and fun times to people who are just starting. Anyways, I'll see you back with more and thank you. Bye. Bye.